Hello all, welcome to the new video of Signals and Systems. In this video, we will see a question related to op-amp which had appeared in JTC 2020. Okay, so this had appeared in the recent examination. The question is, what is the value of this I0 which is the current at the output of a operational amplifier which is mentioned here. So assume that op-amp and other circuit elements are ideal and we have an input voltage of 2 volts with R1, R2 as 1 kilo ohms and also we have a output at output side there is a resistance of 1 kilo ohm. Okay. So keeping this in mind we need to find out what is the value of I0. So as you can see it is very clear that this is a non-inverting op-amp. This is non-inverting op-amp. So this is the first step you need to identify what sort of op-amp it is. So first identify if it is if uh, feedback is positive or negative okay so how do you identify you identify whether the feedback line is connecting to inverting or non-inverting end if it is connecting to non-inverting end that is like this then it is a positive feedback amplifier if not it is a negative feedback amplifier if it is negative feedback then there are two types one is non-inverting and another is inverting so how, how do you identify that so if the input is at the inverting end then it is inverting amplifier and if the inverting is at the non-inverting end but the feedback is at the inverting end then it is non-inverting op-amp so here that fits the case here the input is at the non-inverting end and the feedback is at the inverting end so this is a non-inverting op-amp so a non-inverting op-amp the output voltage PO is given by 1 plus R2 by R1 times VI. So here 1 plus R2 is 1 kilo ohm, R1 is 1 kilo ohm. So this gets cancelled. This is 2 times input P is 2 volts. Hence V out is equal to 4 volts. So this is volts. So next step is to find out what is the value of I0. Uh, let's analyze how to calculate that. Let me see if I can fit it in this page. Now let's uh, shift our focus to this side. They have given us that assume that op-amp and other circuit elements are ideal. So what does it mean that op-amp is ideal. So it means that this resistance, if the op-amp is ideal, then this resistance is very high. This is infinite resistance. That is no current flows through this side. Okay. So no current. So if no current flows through this terminal, it means the voltage at this point and voltage at this point is same. Since the voltage at non-inverting side is 2 volt, this part and this part, so this all part, this voltage is also same which is equal to 2 volts. Okay. So this is the virtual ground concept which comes in picture for non-inverting and inverting amplifier. It means both suppose if we say this as V1 and this as V2 then V1 is equal to V2 this is for negative feedback circuits so with this assumption that op-amp is ideal we get V1 is equal to 2 volts okay and no current flows through this side the current only flows in this direction okay it flows here and then it flows here 
okay so uh, let me draw this picture again uh, let me take a new page for that okay now i have redrawn the op amp circuit so we found that no current flows through this side okay so whatever current which is coming from here it flows here it flows here and then it goes here okay no current flows through the inverting end or into the inverting end okay so with this in mind also note that at this point we have two volts because of the virtual ground concept and we know that vo is equal to 4 volt so with this let's write the equation so out of i naught some current will flow through this resistor which will be equal to v out upon this resistance r3 plus some current flows through this side say i2 this is i1 okay so this i2 it flows from output end to this end okay so this is 4 volt here and 2 volts here okay so the difference is vo minus 4 upon there is only one resistor in the picture that is r2 so this is r2 here okay so this will be equal to vo is equal to 4 volts and r3 is 1 kilo ohm and v out is equal to uh, this is 2 so vo is equal to 4 volts minus this is the 2 volt here upon r2 is 1 kilo ohm we get 4 plus 4 minus 2 is 2 which is 6 upon 1k it will be 6 milliampere okay io is 6 milliampere out of that 4 milliamps flows here and 2 milliamps flows here okay you can also see that here the difference between here to here is this is 2 we can say it as vx this is ground so vx by 1k is again 2 milliamps which is the current which we got it from i naught okay the same currents same current 2 milliamps flows here to the other 1k resistance but note that it didn't come into the calculation while we were writing the current equation i naught because only this resistor was between these two voltages okay so what we did we calculated what is the output voltage of this non-inverting op amp which is 1 plus r2 by r1 into v in which is equal to 4 volts and then we got that vx that is voltage at this point is 2 volt and that since the op amp is ideal no current flows through the terminals that is here no current flows at the inverting end because this op amp is ideal which means there is infinite resistance here so if no current flows it means the voltage at inverting and non-inverting are same so this is 2 and this is also 2 volts so that's how we got this vx is equal to 2 volts after that it was a simple uh, kcl equation okay so we did a nodal analysis so i naught is equal to v v naught upon r3 and plus v naught minus 2 upon 1k so that's how we got what is the value of i naught which is 6 milliamps so if you have any doubts about this question uh, please use the comment section and uh, thank you